Hey, what's happening guys? Tonight we're going to take a look at this little power supply here, which was provided to us free of charge by GearBest. It is a 24 volt, 1.5 amp switching power supply. And the reason I wanted it is you guys have all seen this little uh, buck converter basically. It's by Rui Dang. It's called like the UD25 or something. Anyway, it's a buck converter, but it can make a nice little bench power supply if you have a source for it. So that's why I wanted this, and our friends at GearBest were nice enough to send it out for our consideration. And I will place a link down below to where you can go to the GearBest site and check it out or get one for yourself. So let's take a look inside here. This thing is tiny, okay? So we bring out the scale, and it is uh, three and a quarter by two and a quarter by a little over one and a quarter. Or for those of you who have yet to land a man on the moon, we're looking at eight and a half centimeters by three and a half centimeters by just about six centimeters so it's a tiny little power supply and it's been hermetically sealed for our protection and that says something in Chinese So, so, so much money, Penny. How do we get it open? Well, there's a screw. So, if there's a screw, we'll get a screwdriver. And she, what kind of secret she's hiding? If you guys are wondering about this, if you're a fan of Great Scott, then you already know what's going on. If not, uh, check out his page. And you should be able to see what's going on there pretty well. Okay, another screw here. Yeah, you always got to get your screws loose. Now, hopefully, there we are. We can get a look inside. All right. So it appears to be held in by one screw and just a couple of clips. So hopefully we can remove them and get a better look at the board. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to take it apart any further. Okay, so we've got our input side here with uh, screw terminals labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and they match up here on the lid, live, neutral, ground, V minus, V plus, and then we have an adjust. So just on, uh, on the surface, it looks pretty good here. Let's, uh, let's get some light and zoom in more. All right, we can see some uh, mobs here. Here, nice big capacitor there. What is this guy here? Maybe a polyfuse. Got a nice input choke. There's our bridge rectifier. Got three big smoothing capacitors. That one's kind of soldered in. All hectus cactus there. There's our transformer. Not know how well you can see in there. We do have an anti-tracking slot there between our AC and our DC. Well, there's an inductor. 
it looks decent enough. It looks there's another capacitor there. I don't put me this an anti RF capacitor. All right, I'm gonna put it back together and we'll uh, give her a try. All right, so we need to hook it up to AC, and I've got a cord prepared here. Yeah, I know it's not grounded, but uh, we'll just have to make do for tonight. Try not to lick the case, maybe. <laughs> wow. Those screws are absolutely tiny. Um, for tonight only. We'll do a little modification. And by the way, this is definitely not good for your side cutters. Okay, so live on the outside, neutral on the inside. Now, in the U.S., black is generally live, but I already checked this cable, and it's wired backwards. So, in this case, the white is live. I don't know why, but it is. So, that's what we're going with. Now that voltage adjust doesn't mean this is basically an adjustable power supply. This is, like I said, 24 volt at one and a, one and a half amp. The adjust is just so that you can tune it right into uh, the 24 volt point. That's really all that's for. Okay, let me grab a meter and we'll plug her in. All right, so our meter tonight is the Anang 8009. Pretty nice meter. Just looking to make sure we got no shorts. And she's plugged in. LED is lit up. And let's see if we're getting unloaded 24 volts. Whoops. That was probably bad. Should always put your uh, put your probes back. Twenty four point one volts. All right. So that's looking pretty good so far. Let's put it on the scope and see what she looks like. All right, I got my probes hooked up here. Go into the scope. I'm coupled for AC. And what we're going to do here. Let's bring this up. And take a good look here. And if you look right here. You can see a peak to peak. I'm getting so I'm getting some 70 millivolt pulses, but looks like the average is about 30 millivolts, which is average for this type of power supply. So so far so good. All right, next we'll take another look at it with a load on it, and what I've got for a load are a couple of 12 volt car bulbs that I've series together so they should be okay on 24 volt right right all right let's plug her in Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to take a look at it on the scope under a load. So ground first. Come on. Let's 
having a little trouble holding all these things. There, oh, oh, we had it. So close. Okay, so we're looking at. Okay, I saw a couple of 80, 95, 100 millivolt peaks there, but those might just be. Don't worry, this is not the power supply. This is just my connection not being great. Let me try down here. That was better up here. Come on. Anyway, what we were seeing there is again the average of 30 to 40 millivolt peaks with a couple of spikes in there of 100 millivolts, which is, you know, not super fantastic. But nothing for me to knock the project product over either. So it's passed the smoke test. It's decently stable. Next up, we can hook it up to the Rui Dang. Once again, I gotta perform some surgery here. And once again, I don't recommend you do this. But for our purposes in testing today, it'll be fine. Although, again, with no uh, no mains ground, you notice I'm not touching that metal case. Even though it's probably safe, treat electricity like you treat a firearm. Always assume it's loaded. That way you don't electrocute yourself and shit your pants or shoot yourself in the dick and everything will be all right. Okay. So, plug her back in. Power light. And looking good. Looking good. Let's, uh, Split apart our 12 volt lights here. And we'll hook up our jacks. And you can see our input voltage is 24.1 volt. Let's set our voltage for 12 volts. And our current. for the full Monty. 1.5 amp. I'm just going to set that there while I hook up to the bulb. You'll be able to see everything here. And we'll hit the output enable. There you go. You can see we're getting 255 milliamps, 3 watts. And our input has dropped to 24.08 volts. So that is right on the knuck there. Let's um let's hook the scope up to this. Take a look at it one more time. It would be better if we looked at the out this closer to the output, but we got some wires here that I can get probes on. So that's what we're going to go with, right? Right. Okay. And we're hooked up. Well, now, that's certainly not a DC, uh, DC waveform. That almost looks... Let's see. That kind of looks a little bit unstable. Let's uh, can't again. We can't blame that on the power supply. We've got 
too many other things going on here. Give me one second. Okay, you can see I've got the probes hooked up closer to the output there. And we're still seeing the same thing. 22 millivolt difference, but... Man, that's disappointing. Again, I don't think that's coming from this switching power supply here. I'm going to probe right at the output of the power supply now. Yep. Yeah, it is coming from the output of the power supply. It's 20 millivolt. So it's it's not terrible. And that uh that time period between them is not too bad. So yeah, it's not bad. I mean for the price. So I'll tell you we'll live with it for a few days, maybe a couple weeks, and see how it performs. But for you know, for right now. I, I would say it's it's definitely acceptable and safe. Um, there will be a link down below. I, th I think this thing cost about $12. But I don't have the link right in front of me. So I can't tell you for sure. But check the link down below. If you're interested in it. Um, a big thanks to GearBest for sending this out to us. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Uh, switching... Switch mode power supplies are always nice to have around. I mean, this one's, like I said, 1.5 amp. It's not, um, doesn't have a lot of power, but it is good for something like this for a home electronics product. Assuming that you follow safety rules, ground it, you know, don't be stupid. Don't lick the case. You'll be all right. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, so subscribe, and share. Maybe I'll learn to speak English at some point. Um, big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.